So example one says how many ways are there to seat four people around a round table for lunch? And uh, the, the easy answer to this is to just say in this case there are n equals four people that are going to sit around the round table. Our theorem here says that there will be three factorial which is six different ways of seating those people around a table. But the uh, better way of doing this is to go ahead and draw a table to think out about what's happening here. And what you do is you fix one of the people in this particular chair right there. Arbitrarily choose one of the people and put them there. Once you have done that, then the number of ways to seat someone to their left, there's three different choices there because the one person is taken. Once those two are out of the picture, then there are two ways to seat the person across from the original person. And finally, there is one way to seat that person there. So there are a total of three times two times one by the multiplication rule, which is six different ways of arranging people around a round table for four. Now it's as important as figuring this out as it is figuring out what a circular permutation is not. Let's ask this question. If all of the diners shift one chair clockwise, so if we move them all around this way clockwise, then how many different, uh, is that a different uh, circular permutation? And the answer to this one is no. This is not a new circular permutation. Second question, what if one of those seats is special? For example, if it's a blue throne and it matters who's sitting in the blue throne. Well now, all of a sudden, we can put a four up here because it matters who, it's not arbitrary anymore, we, it matters who we put there because that's a special seat. The answer in this case would be four factorial, which is 24. There's 24 different ways in that case. Last question. What if the order of sitting is reversed, that is clockwise versus counterclockwise? Well, in that case, who's on your left and who's on your right differs. And so in this case, this, this is a new circular permutation if you simply re uh, reverse the order in that fashion.